Hey guys and welcome back to KG Recipes. So today we're going to be making a three course gluten free menu and for our starters we're going to be making gluten free bruschetta bread and we're going to be using coriander and we're not using any yeast to make our bread so let's get started with our dough. Okay so we have one and a half cups of gluten free plain flour, we have a third cup gluten free self-raising flour and we have a quarter cup of rice flour. We have warm lactose-free milk, some coriander, some Himalayan salt, and some vegetable oil. Okay, so we're just going to add our flowers. We're making this recipe so it's sufficient for four people. So if you're making four more, you can just double the amount for the user. Okay, so we're going to add a little bit of our salt. <laughs> Sorry, that was my system. Um, we're going to add a little bit of salt to the milk, and you can mix. Oops. You can mix into the salt, the milk, warm milk, and then add how much you think would be enough for the dough. You can add more later. Add your coriander. We wanted to try this recipe using coriander to make coriander bread. And add one tablespoon of rapeseed oil we're using. So we're just going to Okay, so our dough is ready now, and um, we've added a little bit of water and a little bit more oil to get our dough like consistency. And um, we've oiled our tin that we're putting our bread in, and we're going to pop it in the oven, not to bake, but just to rest for two to three hours. Because this is gluten free and we didn't add any yeast to it, we're not going to expect for much of a rise, but still, just to let the dough rest for a bit, we're going to add it to the oven to let it rest. Okay, so our tin is bigger than our dough is, so this is why it looks so small in it. But if you just want to press it out, we want it like to be like toast style bruschetta bread. But if you wanted to make dough balls, you can make dough balls, or even the shape of a garlic bread roll. It's completely up to you. So we're just going to pop this in the oven now. Okay, so for our dessert, we're making gluten-free chocolate pistachio cheesecake. And so we've got 30, around 30 grams of icing sugar, a little bit of melted chocolate. It's up to you how much melted chocolate you want to put in. We've got some uh, grounded pistachio. We have some lactose-free soft cheese and a variety of cookies that we're going to be using. And we're also going to add some milk lactose free milk now this we're making a cheesecake we're trying out a new recipe from the ingredients we have at home
just adding one small teaspoon. But if you like pistachio and you want to add more, feel free. So now our cheesecake filling is completely ready and we are ready to pour it into our tins with the biscuit base we prepared earlier.